Okay, um, so this video is just a, a brief introduction um, to how one approach to fitting curves um, with Python. Uh, no new libraries um, really introduced. The biggest thing is once we get to interpolating the function, there's a special uh, I'm calling it within SymPy in the polys, uh, the polyfunks that this thing interpolate is here. Um, but here's the situation. So we have some points. Uh, I've expressed these points as uh, tuples in a list, a list of tuples, uh, x and y coordinates. I've also got them as x's and y's. Just to make things, uh, looking forward, I know that this will make things easier for me. Um, but th these are the x coordinates of all our points. These are the y coordinates of all our points. We can easily take a look at uh, those with a scatter plot. Um, and so I've also, the only other thing I did was just add some axes so that we could get a good feel for where these points are. Um, so I just want to fit a polynomial. I'm going to fit a polynomial function through those. Um, and I'm going to use SymPy to do it. In order to do so, I need to import this function, this interpolate uh, function from this library, the SymPy polys polyfunks library. Um, remember, now I'm moving to do some symbolic stuff. So um, I'm working with x as a symbol. So I have to assign x as a, as a symbol from SymPy. And now it's just as easy as saying, OK, I'm going to interpolate these points, and I want an expression back in terms of x. Now, remember what the points were. The points was this list of tuples, where I expressed the x and y coordinates as ordered pairs within parentheses, right? This was the first x and y coordinate, negative 3, negative 2, this point right here. OK, I, I have them expressed as tuples because otherwise, what this function does is it assumes that we're starting at 1. Uh, which actually is, it really doesn't matter, um, but uh, just to avoid confusion, if you have some x coordinates and want to use those specific x coordinates, here's how you would do so. Um, if you don't care about what the x coordinates are, then just go ahead and put your y coordinates in and it will give you back a function in terms of x, like this guy. Okay, so I have uh, 41 x to the fourth over 160. Uh, minus 23 x cubed, and so on. So again, this is a symbolic expression. Um, for me, the easiest thing to do is to now go back to uh, my normal way of working with functions as, as numbers, uh, inputting numbers into them. Uh, and I'll define x to go from negative 4 to 6. And I'll just copy and paste this expression here. Uh, as my functional one. And the nice thing about the matplotlib is that now when I call the plot function, if I call the plot function without putting figure, um, it, will, it will update this plot that I've already made. So we can continue to add elements to this plot uh, by not calling figure as we've been doing. And sure enough, if I do this, I should get a curve through those points Let's take a look. There it is. All right. Here's the equation for it or the expression for it. This is what it looks like. Um, if I wanted to, you know, I could have done some things uh, in this, like fix the uh, the y limb because the y limit blew up there. I can just keep this from negative six to six, um, and that will. Now we see all our points, and we see that curve winding through them. All right, that's it for this method of interpolation.